Here we have a Pixel 2 phone that came in for data recovery. The customer does not care about the phone, but he cares about the data inside the phone. And the customer wrote, he thinks the problem is the LCD connector on the motherboard. Looking at the FEC connector, I do not see anything wrong. And we also check the FEC connector on the screen itself. However, if you look under the FEC connector, we see a broken component right here, a filter, and a missing one. A broken filter or a missing filter will cause image not to show up on the screen. I have done this many, many times on iPhone 6S Plus, where when the user tries to pry the screen away from the board with his nail, he ends up ripping filters from under the FEC connector. If you search Northridge Fix 6S Plus, you will find many videos showing missing filters under the FEC connector. Now, the filters on the iPhone 6S Plus are not the same. They are individual. And I do not have those filters in stock. I do not have a donor board for Pixel 2 to remove the filters from. So what we're going to do for the sake of data recovery, we're going to actually install or solder two filters right here. I think this is a size 201 filter. We can put one here and we can put one here. And we will solder this one back. And hopefully, we will be able to see an image on the screen. If we are able to see an image on the screen, the job is done. Right now, we're going to start by soldering this component here. And these components are microscopic. I'm zoomed in a lot. And it's going to take a lot of precision work to get in this tight area. We did not remove the motherboard from the housing. If you look here, we have that rubber texture, which will likely burn if we apply hot air. But what can you do? We do not care about the rubber. We care about data. Maybe we can put aluminum tape or captain tape on the sides. And we can cover the FEC connector as much as possible because the only way to solder this component on the board right now is to apply hot air. Let's start by pre-applying solder on those pads. Let's pre-apply solder onto the tip. And then we're going to pre-apply solder onto the pads. And of course, we need fume extractor on. And you see how we have glare? I cannot see the pads under the glare. Annoying, right? And what do we do in that case? We use our anti-glare light. Okay, so we have enough solder on all the pads. And now we're gonna apply captain tape around the edges. Like I said, we have a rubbery-like material on the housing. We did not remove the motherboard out of the housing because it's a lot of work. So we can work on this board like this, but I'm gonna protect it with captain tape. I mean, there's nothing to protect, but I do not want the rubber to burn and smell. And how are we going to protect the FEC connector? I mean, I can put a shield over the FEC connector, but the area itself is very small. We can do this. But before we do it, let's grab that component. And maybe we can protect the FEC connector as much as possible. Let's put it right here. Done. This one is done. Meter in continuity mode. And let's test. Let's make sure that we have a continuous path. And the filter is not good because look at this. If we measure here, it's continuous, 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 but we do not have a continuous path right here. So the filter is bad to begin with. 
Look at this. We soldered that filter for nothing. It's bad to begin with. Great. Now we need to solder four components because we do not have those filters anywhere in the shop. Now the Nintendo board, we have filters on the back next to the P13 chip, but I believe the filters are different. Let's take a look here. Yeah, they're different and they're bigger. I do have some Samsung motherboards here and iPhone motherboards, but I highly doubt we're going to find the same filters. I never seen that filter on an iPhone motherboard before, so let's not waste our time. Look at this beautiful iPhone motherboard. Awesome. Maybe we can fix this board. It's broken in half with a lot of missing components. Yeah, fixable. Definitely fixable. But then you wake up. It's all a dream. You fix it in your dreams and then you wake up. The question is, what size filters are those? Is it 201? 1005, 402. One way to find out. I believe 2001. 2001. 201. And the answer is yes. Size 201. Now we're gonna grab another filter and the shield is honestly bothering me so we're gonna do without the shield. And we're good. Let's do filter number three. And one more. See, I can even grab that component when we are not in focus. Even Superman cannot do that. Hey, and we're good. We soldered four filters. Let's wait until the board cools down a bit. And I'm going to remove the tape. Let's plug the charging cable. And the phone is currently charging 9 volts at 1 amp. And look at this. We see a pixelated image. We cannot see an image on the screen. Only pixels. And I've seen that image before. Bad screens. We do not know if the screen itself... If there's something wrong with the screen itself or if there's something wrong with the phone before we were not getting any image now we do have an image but it's all pixels i mean is it possible that the filters that we soldered are causing the problem i'm reading three ohms from here to here here to here and if we go here to here three ohms and our filters are reading about 0 0.5 ohms almost nothing almost zero ohms i do not know if those filters can cause that problem right now there's nothing i can do unless we have those components maybe i'll look for a donor board that we can buy and extract those components from we are getting an image on the screen but a pixelated image and that's not good the phone is turning on and it fully booted up because when i press on the power button 
I can go on and off, on and off. So that tells me that we are booted up and the phone is working. Right now, the easiest way to fix this phone would be to buy a donor board, a donor Pixel 2 motherboard. If I'm not able to find one, maybe I'll buy a Pixel 2 phone. Customer is paying for data recovery, so it's worth it to spend the money on a Pixel 2 phone. Maybe there's something else wrong with the phone and I can use the other board as a donor board to fix this one. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.